Air plants are special because they have a symbiotic relationship with ants. They actually provide a house for ants to live inside. They colonize inside of the plants. And then the plants, in return, absorb the ants' poo. So they get nutrients from the ants, and the ants will also help to defend the plants in the wild as well. So we've got all these little holes all over the plants where the ants will come and crawl and live inside and then they'll be pooping away inside the plant and the plant absorbs nutrition from that. Another very weird plant that we have is Nepenthes and this is a very cool genus of carnivorous plants. They have these pitchers that they grow which fill with liquid. They attract insects or other things. Sometimes in the wild they've been known to eat small vertebrates like lizards, frogs, and even rodents. And they attract them to the top up here, and then they get stuck in the bottom, and they're absorbed and eaten by the plant. And that's because the Nepenthes have evolved to live in quite poor soils, low nutrition environments. And so their prey is kind of like a vitamin pill that they use to supplement than for soil. Some Nepenthes actually like to eat poo as well. So the when it comes back to poo, <laughs> they will get animals like bats. So in Borneo, there's a specific Nepenthes loei will attract a specific species of tree shrew to come and drink nectar from the top of the lip. And while the tree shrew is visiting the pitcher, drinking the nectar, Hopefully they leave a little poo behind as a treat for the Nepetfis to eat. Plants are very clever and they've evolved all of these cool tricks to survive in tricky environments like bogs and swamps and arctic tundra so that they can survive and thrive.